everyone. Um, so long time no see. Uh, obviously, we've not done any videos since racing finished, um, but we've been a lot, been, been quite busy. Uh, obviously, that shed that we picked up that we we're going to put as cot birds in is now up, um, and we have been. Oops, we have been currently in the process of breaking our young birds from last year that we didn't get to race to the new yard. Um, and we have successfully done the cock birds. Uh, obviously, we have yet to try the hens, but we do have two hens that actually are broken to here because by accident, when we were letting out obviously the young birds and late breds, um, they were already in the apiary with them when we opened it up to let them out. So they are actually already broken to here. So we're two already broken, which is good. So we've just got to do with everybody else, <laughs> which is all good fun. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but up there, we currently have a box van being unloaded, which I will go help with in a minute, um, of uh, a, another new loft that we have that's going to hopefully replace the dog kennel and get rid of that one, because obviously it's, it's not practical what I want it for. It was all right, it did a job for obviously just getting on, onto here and getting the birds sorted, but obviously as permanent purposes, it's not ideal for what I want it. So we have picked up a new 12 foot loft, uh, which obviously we're going to get everything cleared and we are thinking about putting it to the side of this other shed that we had that's breeding stuff in um, I'll show you that in a minute um, so hopefully we'll get that sorted and get that put up uh, obviously it's not going to be a quick process because we've got a lot of it, space to clear before we can start getting it put up but it will go up we're going to finally get rid of that and then we should have a young bird, cock bird, race hens and stock Fingers crossed, that's how it goes. So, I'm gonna let these cock birds out and have a little bit of a fly around. Um, and then, if all goes to plan, I'm not gonna let all the hens out, I'm just gonna let out the young birds and late birds and obviously the two that have already been broken to here. Um, just because we're gonna start the process of breaking those as of tomorrow. Um, obviously it's not an easy process to go through. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. So I'm gonna, yeah, get them broken, get them boys out anyway. So that's the cock birds out and up, and so I'm just going to go scrape in their loft while they're out, and then we can take a look round. Right, so we're just going to go have a look in the boys' loft, and so while well, they're still out, a minute. Right, so here in the boys' loft, still don't have a step yet. I've still got to work on that. But twelve boxes. Just zoom out a little so you can see it better. Twelve boxes. And then obviously, they're Avery. There we go. It's a 7x6 loft with 12 up and overs in it. Hey, you naughty boys shouldn't be on the floor. Right, so just wait for these boys to all come down, get them in, and then um, get the hens out. Right, so I'm going to get all these boys in because they're all ready for the All in, so I'm going to sort out the girls now and uh, we're going to hopefully get these out. Well, as I said, I'm just going to get out the young birds and the late birds and the two that are already broken to here um, and the others we're going to start as, as of tomorrow. So let's get these out. Okay, so I've got all the birds I need straight into the aviary. 
not, might not be quite so easy to get these out by myself because normally obviously there's two of us that's neighbour up. But, see how well we do. I might just pull out Around. I am just going to go and scrape out that one. Obviously, there's still bursts still inside there because they're the ones that aren't yet broken. We're working on that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go scrape around in there. And then, uh, where are you going? You're meant to be up playing, crazy bum. Right, see you in a minute. Right, so before I let these girls in, because they're all desperate to go back in, they're ready for their dinner. <laughs> we'll have a quick look in first and see who's in there. I know you all want to come in. So I've still got a few in here. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine still inside that obviously needs to be broken. And everybody else is really desperate to get in from the outside. I know, babies, hang on. So I'm just going to sort out their food and then I'm going to let them in because they're crazy. The other dog kennel birds which obviously is just a stock bird um, which we're going to be having a bit of go through those to see obviously what surplus to requirement um, and obviously because we have put in them getting rid of this this shed that they're in at the minute. I think they're hungry. Hi. Hi handsome baby. You doing? What are you doing? So right, we must sort out their food. Right. Right up now. Yeah, so I'm gonna feed the kennel and and uh, I'll come back to you in two seconds. So as promised, I was gonna say to you about obviously where we were gonna oh let me just maybe right so obviously this lot here that you can see, all them breeze blocks and them gates and stuff that's down the side of this metal shed where we had as breeding boxes. Um I'm just come over this way so you can see all down there. So we're gonna clear all that gap there and possibly put a new shed there or <laughs> this is the thing we're going to move the red shed to this gap and put the new shed across there obviously the dog kennel will be gone so there'll be all that space so that's a possibility we'll see <laughs> we're not quite much sure yet and um, so that's just a bit of what, what we're doing at the minute trying to obviously revamp his yard obviously we've got enough lofts to properly house everybody 
plus breathing sections plus everything else and obviously to keep the big blue shed for obviously his young birds red sheds for his cock birds and then the new one's going to be for hen and stock because obviously we're not going to have that many stock birds we are going to go through as stock birds problem is it's hard to pick because we've got so many good stock birds it's who do you pick to get rid of you know rehome and things because they're all really good ones you know it's not it's not we want to get rid of them all but we can't keep them all um we all in all honesty only want really probably five actual stock hens and there's only really two or three stock cocks that we actually want um that's that's what we want to keep hold of but it's who that we want to keep hold of that's the problem so anyway we've got to go through that decide on who's what who wants who, who can stay and everything else um obviously we've broke us cock birds which i'm really pleased about they're all there um all those young birds we raced this season plus as late breads they're all going up flying now and two of us birds from last year are now broken to this yard which i'm really pleased about so as we hopefully get all the rest of them broken in and then we can start training them because i know it's obviously winter but we want to make sure that we still get them down the road even if it's just a couple of five milers just so that they know to find the way back to here just you know like you do just to obviously put it instill it in them um, especially for the late breads we need to have to make sure we basket train them just because obviously we don't want to otherwise it'd be pointless we have to be pointless doing it so that's just what we've got going on um and i hope that obviously you're just enjoying your birds now that racing's finished i hope you've had a good race season and uh, there'll be more things to come from us over time and obviously i'll keep you up, up in progress as to how things go and uh, as we start moving things about to move and obviously dismantling lofts and kennels and moving breeze box and stuff obviously i'll i'll keep you all in the loop in that and show you what's going on show obviously as developments as we go along and uh yeah just want to obviously keep you updated with how we are and i say i hope you're all doing well i hope you're enjoying your pigeons and i hope you're looking forward to the upcoming pigeon shows and upcoming breeding season